Hey yeah, guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. What do we have today? I'm going to show you something really cool I found for fire starting just around the property. It's great to have. It is small and light enough. You can stick a piece of this in your kit. Uh, your bug out bag, get home bag, inch bag, gym bag. <sighs> Fatwood. More to come. Okay, guys, now we're back. I'll show you what I am talking about. Fat wood is rosinous wood, usually pine stumps around here, but I'm sure you could get it from others. But ideally, it is something where the tree has died and the stump is left and it has sat and collected all of that beautiful pine rosin. You can see it kind of glimmering right there. This is what down here in the south we call fatwood. Um, some people just call it regular old kindling. Uh, starter wood uh, is what some people call it as well. You can find you a nice old pine stump, dig into it and cut into it like this, and you can harvest a ton of this stuff. Now the nice thing about it is you take a, a hatchet or a good heavy steady knife and you can baton these things into smaller, smaller, and smaller pieces and very, very small slivers. Now, I will show you this thing. You can take it, you can feather it up if you need to, just like that. Do it right there so you can see it a little bit better, just like I've done this. And now we're going to light this thing, and I want to show you how well this thing actually burns. More to come. Okay, guys. That is fat wood right there. Nothing's been added to that. That thing will burn and burn and burn. You don't want to cook on this because you see that black smoke. It is creosote. That thing will burn and burn and burn. And there's so much pitch in it. I'll bend you over and let you take a look at it. Oh, zoom back in. That is where the pitch had liquefied pine sap and it hardened when I put it in there and put it out. How about that? More to come, guys. There we go. Put it back in. Swish it around. And you can, you can see it is obviously wet. Not too bad for something that's been sitting in water. And that thing will burn and burn and burn and burn. So how about that? Take one of these, stick it in a bag, and wherever you're going to go uh, camping, day pack, something like that. Day pack, bottle of, bottle of water or two, you know, a little wind break or a hoodie, something like that. Piece of fat wood and a lighter, and that's a long way to making yourself comfortable if you get lost on the trail, out in the woods, something like that. Easy way to start a fire. Like I said, this magnesium those are about the two easiest ways unless you have gasoline or diesel but we usually don't carry that with us but fat wood is an easy easy way to start a fire wet conditions windy conditions anything like that give it a second or two a birthday candle and a piece of fat wood and you got a roaring fire in a few minutes anyway guys in just a second we're going to wrap everything up You'll see a picture of my ugly mug pop over here as well as my beautiful wife on the opposite side. There's going to be some videos if we are indeed your brand of wacky guys. As always, take care of your people.